Hello Fly Tires, welcome back. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to be walking you through another Southern Appalachian Great Smoky Mountains trout pattern. This one, the Rattler. Stick around. What you're looking at in the vise right now is called the Rattler. A tractor dry fly pattern, popular in the Great Smoky Mountains. A very high floater, fun to tie. So, I will explain the materials as I go. I'm putting a size 12, 1X long, barbless hook in there. You can tie this on a size 10 to 14. Lay down a base of black 70 denier UTC. The tail on this guy is just some pheasant tippets. So what I do, I'll grab about a good chunk of them, 8 or 10 here. Hold the tips together like I'm doing right there. Got the tips, then snip it off. That way your tips will remain lined up. If you can get the second barb showing, that's good. So it's going to be a little bit longer than the gap of the hook. Okay, that looks good right there. Secure this. I'm going to go ahead and snip these off. Let's go ahead and, and tie in our hackle that we're going to palmer up it. It doesn't have a body, it's just palmered all the way up it. So one brown, one grizzly, dry fly hackle. Now I'll show you that my trick here is Pull that stem up just a little bit. Get a couple of millimeters of bare stem. That'll help you when you start your wrapping. Okay, so let's just secure these in here. Take our thread base back up to where we want the post. So we want it a couple of eye lengths back and the post, kip tail, calf tail, now one trick for this, grab a, a big, I don't know, a chunk as big as you think you're going to need, maybe just a little bit bigger. We can always take some of it out. Pull those loose fibers out. So one trick to find out how much you should use, grab it and then twist it 180 degrees. And then look at that little rope you got. Is that about the same diameter as the outside of the hook eye? That's, that's the goal you're going for. So if it's a little bit wider, pull some out. Now put the tips forward. So from where a tying point is, envision that up. But this one we're going to trim the top so we don't have to have the the length measured exactly right, right now. So you want to do this trick, put a little loose wrap around it, all the way around your hair bunch, and then as you come back under and then back up, still holding the hair fairly tight, you pull up on it. That should keep it, for the most part, from spinning around on you. I spun around a little bit, but mostly we got the hair on top of the hook there. So if you've got it situated, after you've got it situated where you like, you can go ahead and wrap it backwards. A couple of tighter wraps here. Don't let it spin on you. Okay. Still wanting to spin a little bit, but we're mostly on top. So I've got six or seven good locking wraps right there. We're going to trim this back off at an angle if you can get it. Just help you with the taper. So I'm trying to angle my scissors in a little bit right there. And that's not a great taper, but it's not a straight drop off. So we can work with that. So just wrap that back down. If you need to build your taper up, you can do that right here. 
making a, a small ramp right there where we can wrap that hackle going up it. Got some. Okay. Now when you get back up to where you did your first wrap, lift your post. And start your wraps on the front of it. Just build a dam right there, almost like you would be building an eye or a head. So when you get that ramp built up enough, let go and check it and see if the post is going to stand straight up. It's standing pretty much straight up right there. Okay. Now I'm not 100% straight up the top of the hook. So I'm going to wrap this like I would if I was doing a parachute. So just a couple of wraps, not terribly tight, around the base of your post. Two, maybe three wraps. Okay. I think that's situated pretty well where I want it. Skewed a little bit, but for the most part coming up. So take your thread back up to the eye. I'm going to put a half inch right here. So I can just park this for a minute, get my bobbin out of the way while I wrap this hackle. So now you'll see why we left that oh, couple of millimeters there at the start. If you didn't, the first wrap, your hackle would start back and it would be going over your your tail. We don't really want that. We want this hackle to be as perpendicular to the hook shank as we can make it. We'll do two wraps right in front. Should have enough of this hackle to get two wraps in the front. Now take my thread out of the cradle Still holding this, these feathers here. If I didn't, they would spin back on me. So I'm going to get two wraps right here. Hold it tight. Still got some tension on it. I'm going to lock it. A thread wrap right in front of it, or two, just to get it really locked in there. You'll see I have some feathers coming or some fibers coming up forward. We're gonna have to trim those. We might be able to push them back and bury them in the head, but that isn't always the easiest thing to do. Sometimes it's easier just to trim them. We'll give it a shot. I will try to pull them back and see how many of them I can get buried back here. We don't want to want them to lay too flat. See that? If you do that you might end up having them lay back that way so and defeat the the going perpendicular to the base there so I think we're okay there we can work with this we're gonna have a little bit of cleanup to do in the head but we've got enough of a base that we can put a whip finish down and then work on our trimming Now for the wing post, you don't want it that long, but you do want it just maybe slightly longer than the top of your hackles. So let's trim it off about like that. So just a bit longer there. Take my fine point scissors and see if I can clean this up a little bit here. Now some folks down in Appalachia will trim the bottom of this. This is a very high floater. It's good for rough water, fast water, a good searcher pattern, but if you want it to get a little bit down into the the surface, right, right in the surface layer, you might trim that bottom off just about to the, the hook point or maybe a little bit shorter. So there you go folks, the Rattler, Great Southern Appalachian Dry Fly Searching Pattern. Thanks for watching.